The land is green, it's green, oh, oh. The land is green, it's green, can't you see? I can't see, oh, the harvest is red. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. On this very day, we set out to this village to see how we can catch up with them when they are processing palm oil. Unfortunately, we got there very late. They had already processed and they were tidying up to go. If this is your first time here, kindly give this video a thumbs up, watch it to the end and subscribe. Hey guys, how are you doing? How are you doing, my beautiful subscribers? So, as you can see, I am here at the oil mill. This is where palm oil is being produced. I mean the palm oil you all eat. Yes, I know that a lot of you do not know how it is being processed. I am here at the factory, one of the factories around Aquaibo State. This village is called... What is it called? I'm going to leave the name on the screen so you can know where exactly I am. So guys, let us get in and see what is going on in there. And by the way, I am particularly amazed by the amount of machines I am seeing. You all know I am a village girl. I grew with my grandmother and I know how it used to be very tedious back then. Getting to process palm oil, we used to pound on the floor like a big a big hole will be will be dug and it is going to be guarded in such a way that when you put palm fruits it does not escape that's the oil does not escape and then we used to select the fruits from the shaft you know everything used to be done manually but now guys i am so happy that a lot of things are revolutionizing please come with me let's get to see what they are doing when we got in here the first thing my eye actually cited was this pot. Yeah, this pot is actually locally fabricated and that's the palm oil final product. The next thing I cited were these kits. Oh my god. My attention was being drawn to this particular machine. Of course, you can see it's locally fabricated where the um, chaff from the palm kernel is being separated. This was really amazing to me because back then it wasn't there. You can see the man trying to show me where the chaff and the palm kernel actually come from. These are the final look of the palm kernel. You see, back to these kids. You see how happy they are doing these things? Seriously speaking, I was totally amazed. Back to this particular machine. This machine is a machine that is being used to grind. When I say grind, pound what you would pound you know manually you see honestly speaking i was totally blown away in this particular place they also grind cassava and that's the machine over there you see i'm really intrigued by these kids actually the way at which they go about what they are doing well this is the chaff that has been separated you can see that what you do by hand and by machine may not be completely okay so they are taking out the palm kernel manually like the final ones okay so yeah the chaff are being carried out you know what the chaff can be used for right yes you can use this to get to lit your fire local fire right anyways i had to ask the person that is managing the place he told me that for the big pot which you saw earlier the charge six five and the small pot is three five for everything from boiling to selecting and everything anyway so this is the manager let's hear from him okay okay are you the manager of this place for manage it okay i'm super happy to see that a lot of things have changed. This is just one of the many oil mills in Aquaibom State. Unfortunately, like I said, we came here when they were preparing to leave. Amema. I am so amazed at the fact that things have really, really changed. The time I used to stay with my grandmother back then in the village, we used to pound and all that. We used to do virtually everything with our hands. A lot of things have revolutionized, you know. I am here with 
reality box. Reality box. So very soon you'll be unboxing how you know the present way of you know refine refining our palm, palm oil, oil uh, from the from the palm front from yeah. the palm fruit to yeah. the final product of palm oil. Palm oil. So you just all know that yeah. To be very honest, reality box. Yeah. I am amazed at the things. I have seen here the machines I have seen here. Like yeah. I told my subscribers earlier, when I used to stay with my grandmother, I'm a typical village girl. Forget what you're saying, just forget about what you're saying. I'm a typical village girl. We used to do a lot of this back then in my grandmother's um, backyard, that's the back of the house. We used to have all meal. Yeah. We did everything in there, and it was amazing. Just imagine. There is now a machine to select the the, the shaft from, from the from from, from the palm fruit. Oh, I'm so I'm so amazed at this. So, yeah, me too. I think the like the most surprising part of this whole trip is seeing the machine that separates the shaft from the nut. Yes. Because like I never expected something like that to come into existence. But seeing it really, you know, uh, amazes me that like that things are really growing from from the bottom to, to the top, top and these machines are locally fabricated yeah, yeah, they are yeah. not imported they locally not imported. fabricated locally it means fabricated. that you know if these people are given a, a you know a lot of attention and financing they could do more we nigerians can do more oh god please <laughs> let me not talk too much come with us let us get to see what you know they are doing in there at this point, the lady is trying to separate the palm oil from the water. <laughs> I know at this point, some people would like to ask, where did the water come from? Now, let me tell you. You know, while boiling the palm fruits, okay, you have to boil it with water. And when the machine actually pounds or blends, however it is, removes the um, fleshy part from the kernel, of course, there will be water in between. And when they press it, they compress it in this particular machine you're seeing right here there would be water now you see this oil this particular palm oil is the fermented oil the first phase of the palm oil is usually gotten immediately after grinding the palm kernel after boiling of course all right so this particular one they will cover the chaff after taking out the first part and allow it ferment for some time you can see those people right now they are squeezing the fermented part of that you know palm kernel and chaff together this is such a hard job i must <laughs> i must say so um all hands are on deck right here and you can see how the oil mixed with water is actually coming out nicely this fermented oil is super amazing in vegetable soup, aka Edikani Kong soup. Mm. You may be wondering what the palm fruit looks yeah, like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. here yeah. are palm fruits where palm oil are being gotten from. This is how it looks straight from the palm tree. Now, we have different types of palm fruits, the agri type and of course the local one. This is the local one. I prefer the local one. Now, this palm fruit, you see it is different from the one I just showed you there. It has been separated from its, I don't know what this thing is called. I'll leave it on the screen. <laughs> Alright, so this is it. You can use this for firewood. Now, this is palm fruit on the palm tree. Yeah, this is what it looks like up there. God is so wonderful. Almost everything on this palm tree is useful from the leaves. The leaves are being used to sweep and the other parts are being used to, you know, build a house. And of course, you get palm fruit from it as well as palm wine. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, subscribe and don't forget to share this video. I am happy and definitely excited filming this video. The next palm oil meal you will see on my channel is me taking you through the step-by-step -step process of how to get palm oil from palm fruits. I want to thank African Tigress for inspiring this kind of content. I'll see you in my very next video.